Song Wish. And in this video today, we're going to look at three things. We're going to look at the two possible ways of setting up Remedy 2 in FL Studio, and then we're going to break down some of the great uses of Remedy. There are two ways to set up Remedy in FL Studio. FL Studio is not a conventional door in the fact that it allows completely free routing. So it doesn't have a dedicated channel and a dedicated MIDI input. We have to create those connections ourselves. The first way we're going to look at will work with all third party and external VST tools. Let's have a look at how we would do that. For the example here, I've opened up Native Instruments Massive X Synthesizer and an instance of Remedy 2. We need to create a connection between these two tools. This is available to us in the extra settings in what's known as the Fruity Wrapper. This is the container that loads your plugins inside it. We have a small cog up here in the top of the wrapper. When we click it, we get some extra options available to us. When we look at the little plug with the cog, this is our plugin internal settings. And here we can set some routing. Remedy needs an output. It needs to output its MIDI data to the instrument. So we can set ourselves an output port. We'll use five so it doesn't interfere with any other MIDI setups we currently have. And then we can return back to the plugin window. Over on Massive X, we use the same cog, we go to the same place. However, in this case, in our MIDI settings here, we need the input to also be read. So we're gonna go from Remedy 2 with the output of five. We're gonna create an input at five Massive X. And now we can return to its plugin window. Now that the output MIDI from Remedy 2 goes to 5 and Massive X receives MIDI input from channel 5, Remedy 2 will now be able to control Massive X. There is another way we can set up this in FL Studio that would allow us to save it so we wouldn't have to create it again each time. Let's have a look at using Fruity's Patcher to do this. Let's begin by loading Patcher. And bring this over to where we'd bring our instrument in FL Studio. And Command L will just pop that on the mixer for us. Inside Patcher, we can load in the plugins that we need by right clicking. So let's add Remedy 2. And as before, we'll add Massive X. Orange represents the flow of audio, while the green represents the flow of MIDI. Now we want Remedy 2 to control Massive X. We definitely don't need the MIDI flow going into Massive X. We want the MIDI flow to go from FL Studio into Remedy and then into Massive. So far, this won't work. What we need to do is open up the GUI, some of the tools. We can do this by clicking on any of the puzzle pieces. And as before, we need to set our ports. Let's do input port five on Massive, and we'll do output port five on Remedy. We'll need to load some MIDI into Remedy. We'll double click on one of these and add to pads. We should see that these now control Massive X. <laughs> The benefit of this is we can now save this patch by doing save preset as, and then be able to load it up later ready-made. Additionally, we don't have to have just a single instrument controlled this way. We could now go to Fruity's plugin picker, take Harmer, bring Harmer in, disconnect the MIDI from here, set it to Remedy 2, and... <laughs> Now both are controlled by Remedy. Notice with Harmer, we didn't have to set a MIDI flow, a MIDI input. This is because the native FL Studio plugins will automatically root. Now let's have a look at how we can use Remedy to compose some music. Remaining with our original setup of Remedy 2 controlling Massive X, we can very simply use it to build something like this. <laughs> is merely four different notes playing into Remedy, just then controlling the chord structure. Let's have a look at how we can utilize that in Remedy 2. We can double click our puzzle piece to open it up from the patcher. Let's make it a little larger. Over here on the left hand side, we have our browser. This is our library of MIDI that we can sample from. The menu at the top allows us to browse to any of the pre-saved locations, or if we've got our own MIDI saved on the hard drive, we can browse to there as well. Let's have a look in Romantic. In here, we can load any of these MIDI files. It'll change our current chord structure. Listen. Double click to load and it will load onto the selected pad. As you can see, all of the others in this instance remained the original that was loaded. If we want to load slices of this MIDI across all of these pads, we can simply click two pads. This track will now be incrementally sliced a size of four across all of the pads. Use 
using the same four notes before, we now trigger an entirely new pattern. There's well over a thousand different MIDI files for you to browse through and sample from. Notice the first pad is currently highlighted blue and in the top right corner of the pad is a spanner icon which is highlighted. This shows that we are in edit mode for this particular pad. It means we can do things like change the sample size or perhaps the tempo. Currently I've got it at half speed. We could see what it was like at its original. I liked it at half speed. We can also do things like transpose. We could make this way more of a bassy tone. When we click the spanner icon, we're no longer in edit mode. And as you can see, pads are now freely selectable. allow us to go to another pad for example, hit edit mode and adjust that. If we want to bring the MIDI out from a particular slice we can click here and drag it and it'll instantly create a MIDI file for it. You drag that selection into the piano roll to edit it manually. Let's have a look. We open up the piano roll here and take this slice here and drop it in. There is another way we can work in Remedy as well. Let's start with a completely new version here. Let's click new and it will reset everything for us. Let's sample something new to the first pad. When we press on our MIDI keyboard or trigger a note in the piano roll, it goes to different slices. If we find a particular slice we like, maybe at that half tempo again, can simply assign it to this pad by clicking the tick. On the next pad, we could load the same file. We could choose ourselves a different slice. Let's keep that half tempo and assign it this way. Now, way we can keep going through our larger MIDI file and just taking out the slices that really inspire us and create our track that way. Just to walk through that again and click the spanner icon, put it into edit mode, load the file, let's choose a part we like, let's reduce the tempo. This part I'd like to go down an octave, we can click the tick, that will now assign it to that key for us. We can program that in in our piano roll by going to the key that it's assigned to. We can see it's assigned to C minus two, C sharp minus two, and D minus two. In FL, these will be zero. Now we have our new slices assigned and built into the piano roll. That helps you navigate around using Remedy in FL Studio and helps you gain some inspiration in creating some awesome music yourself.